Aging and Disease Prevention Radio is right here on Radio MD. Here's author, blogger, lecturer, and national medical media personality, Dr. Michael Smith, MD, with Healthy Talk. So can probiotics help you lose weight? I like this because I don't listen. There's a lot of weight loss stuff going around, especially at the beginning of the year. You know, we just came out of the holidays, all that kind of stuff, and people are always well, I, you know, weight loss is always a big, big topic. And but I like this because I think there's some really interesting, cool science um, supporting the theory that healthy gut bacteria can help you to lose weight, and that's what a probiotic is. A probiotic is a product that you take that replenishes gut bacteria that are good for you. You know, by the time you're age two, you have developed all of your gut bacteria, and you're talking about trillions and trillions trillions of colonies of bacteria that are good for you. It comes from your environment, and it comes from mother's milk. That's why breastfeeding, in my opinion, is so, so important for babies. Babies that don't breastfeed have less healthy gut bacteria, and they tend to have more autoimmune issues when they're older, allergy issues when they're older. Breastfeeding is very important. Well, so all of the gut bacteria that you're going to have is established by age two. That's it. So imagine by the time you hit 40 or 50, most, I don't want to say most, but many of those bacteria are gone. They're dead. So I really believe we need to replenish them. As a matter of fact, I consider a probiotic product to be a foundational supplement. And I've talked about my supplement pyramid before. Uh, at the base of your supplement regimen is called the foundational supplements, multivitamin, omega-3 fats, CoQ10, and probiotics. Why? Because they are so important to all phases of digestion. And now I'm going to talk about a study that shows with some interesting science that they might actually help you to lose some weight. If you want to learn more about those foundational supplements, by the way, you can go to mysupplementpyramid.com. So let's look at this study here. This was published in the British Journal of Nutrition in 2013, so a nice recent study. And the headline was, Women Taking Probiotics Lost Weight. Scientists recruited 125 obese people, men and women, and they randomly split them into two groups. One group was given a probiotic containing a lactobacillus species, very, very common uh, probiotic that you'll find in most of your products. The other group received a placebo. Now, all subjects, those taking the probiotic and those not, all of them were on a similar weight loss plan for 12 weeks, followed by a weight maintenance period for another 12 weeks. Women, now not the men, but women in the treatment group, meaning the women give, given the probiotic, taking the probiotic, lost an average of 10 pounds compared to 4 pounds in the placebo group. So that's a, that's, a, that's a just barely significant difference, but it is significant. That's nice. So 10 pounds versus 4 pounds. Yet here, here's what was really interesting about this study. Men really didn't get help that much from the probiotic. The men really didn't lose the, the weight whether they were taking a probiotic or not. Um, the men did lose weight, but it was similar in both groups. So probiotics in this case doesn't seem to help the men, at least based on this one study. Uh, so, so you have women taking the probiotics on, uh, are, are experiencing greater weight loss than the women not taking a probiotic, and they're all on basically the same weight loss program. Now, what's even more interesting is that after the maintenance people, so they, they did a 12-week diet program, and then they did a 12-week maintenance period. After that, after 24 weeks, the women in the treatment group, the women getting the probiotics, they continued to lose weight and body fat. But on the other hand, the women in the placebo group, they gained the weight back. So there seems to be even a protective effect. Not only did the women taking the probiotics lose more weight, they continued, not at, not at the same pace, but they did continue to lose some weight versus women not taking the placebo who gained the weight back. Hmm. That's interesting. So let's look at what might be going on here. And, that's the, and, and this is the real reason I like this study. There's some really cool science going on. We know that hunger hormone and inflammation play a role in obesity. So there's hormones that influence your desire to eat or not to eat, and also inflammation can play, that, play a role in that as well. Now this study that I'm talking about was done in Quebec, and women taking the probiotics had lower levels of circulating leptin. That's a hunger hormone with appetite effects. Um, 
leptin goes to you, it's released from your fat cells, it travels to your brain, and it tells your brain to stop eating, meaning you've had enough food at that meal. So women taking the probiotics were a, had more leptin production, and more of that leptin was actually getting to the brain where it belongs, and they were eating less food. The women who did not take the probiotics, they were still making leptin. As a matter of fact, they started making even more leptin, but the problem was is the leptin wasn't getting to the brain. The leptin in the women who were not taking the probiotics did not get to the brain, so the women were overeating, especially after that maintenance period. So there seems to be some sort of control of this of this hunger hormone called leptin in probiotics. There's some sort of controlling mechanism that healthy gut bacteria have over leptin, and specifically getting leptin to the brain where it belongs. So there's going to be, I think, a lot of research looking into that role that probiotics play here. By the way, I think 2014 is going to be a huge year for probiotics. You know, I'm going to be out in California pretty soon at what's called Expo West. It's this huge uh, event for the industry. Lots of new products are released, and, and I really do believe probiotics are really starting to step into their own as true uh, supplements for prevention and treatment of, of diseases, inflammatory bowel disorders, autoimmune disorders, strengthening immune systems, and now maybe even linked to helping people to lose weight. More research will be done looking at that, that probiotic leptin connection, and I think it's pretty interesting. Now, so you, you can eat probiotics. You can eat fermented foods. Fermented foods are going to have some probiotics in it. The problem is most of the fermented foods that you're going to buy at your neighborhood convenience store or grocery store, they're not the best fermented foods. I know there's a lot of marketing that goes behind certain yogurts, for instance, and I'm not going to go into brand names or anything like that. You guys probably know what I'm talking about. Um, listen, I think they're okay products, but they do not deliver the number of healthy gut bacteria uh, that a good probiotic capsule will. Uh, so I do think if you want to benefit from probiotics, if you want to replenish the gut bacteria, that remember you're pretty much, you know, you've lost a lot of it because you, 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 what you had to live with, you established by age two. So by the time you go from age two to 40, 50, whatever, you're talking about a significant loss of these, of these bacteria. And although some of those commercial yogurt products taste good and maybe they can benefit you a little, they're just not going to be able to replenish your healthy gut bacteria like a good probiotic capsule can. And there's a lot of good products on the market, so I do encourage you to look into a probiotic product. Remember, I consider it a foundational, probiotics are a foundational product for me. Again, when you think of your regimen, think of it in terms of a pyramid. And the base of your supplement pyramid is called the foundational level. These are the most important nutrients to you. Multivitamin, right? Uh, omega-3 oils, very important healthy fats. You have CoQ10 for cell energy, and then, of course, you have the probiotics, which help to support all phases of digestion. And now there's evidence that the probiotics are able to influence inflammation and hunger hormones. And I do think a lot more research will go into that. So consider... I mean, yes, go ahead and eat your fermented foods, but you're going to need to supplement those fermented foods as well with a good probiotic product. And if you want to learn more about probiotics and the foundational supplements or the supplement pyramid that I've been talking about, go check out mysupplementpyramid.com. It's an interactive website where you can build your regimen right there. So who would have thought probiotics helping people lose weight? Go check it out. This is Healthy Talk on Radio MD. I'm Dr. Mike. Stay well. Oh, oh, oh.